Good evening, everyone. I'm Bob Waters. Well, the man accused of abducting his 10-year-old stepdaughter, leaving authorities on a fierce search this weekend, is in custody while the 10-year-old is back with her family unharmed. The Iowa Department of Public Safety says 48-year-old Kenneth Johns was taken into custody in Davenport this morning after he allegedly abducted his stepdaughter. Authorities say 10-year-old Brianna Crane, who is hearing impaired, was taken from Solon and somehow dropped off by a third party early this morning in West Branch. KWWL's Justin Andrews has been on top of this story from the beginning. He's live in Johnson County, where this all started. Justin. Well, Bob, in a case spanning across three counties in at least four cities in 24 hours, the intense search for 10-year-old Brianna Crane has ended also with her abductor in custody tonight. He's behind bars, but the good news in all of this, Brianna is safe and in good health. Johnson County deputies believe Brianna's stepfather, 48-year-old Kenneth Johns, who is a convicted felon, abducted her early Saturday morning in Solon. We were called to Solon on a domestic call, and while deputies were talking to the victim, uh, Mr. Johns took the 10-year-old girl. Hours later, this Amber Alert was sent out, and just 20 minutes after... This tense scene in the 1100 block of 12th Avenue in Coralville. State, county, and local authorities canvassing inside and outside this home with rifles in hand. Authorities will not confirm a connection between this heavy police presence in Coralville and the Amber Alert. But a spokesperson with the Iowa Department of Public Safety tells us they were following leads in this case in Coralville. More than four hours later, Johns and Brianna were not nowhere to be found, so deputies had this message for him. Mr. Johns, if he's uh, hearing this, we do ask him to reach out to us. We want to end this peacefully. 1.30, early Sunday morning, just four hours after that statement, authorities say Brianna was dropped off to law enforcement in West Branch by a third party, safe and in good health. About 50 miles away and eight hours passed, it was around 9 o'clock in the morning. I heard the, all these bangs going on. About how many bangs did you hear? Oh, I, it must have been a half a dozen at least. Johns nabbed in this home after hours of negotiations by Davenport police. A case starting in Solon, making its way all the way to Davenport, leaving a trail of unanswered questions in multiple counties, ending with this 10-year-old safe and her alleged abductor behind bars. Now, Bob, tonight, authorities are not telling me who that third party is that dropped Rihanna off in West Branch or even if there's a relationship between the two. But tonight, I can tell you that that person is being questioned by authorities. We've got you covered live in Johnson County. I'm Justin Andrews, KWWL News. There's a lot of questions in this case. Thanks very much.